today I'm going to show you how to speed up your device with the use of mobile terminal and two uh, I guess tweaks or maybe scripts that you install through Cydia to run on terminal. I'll also show you how to use terminal. Uh, in my last video, my first video actually, I said I could not speak during the video. Well, I fixed that. So, now I can. Let's get started. First off, obviously open Cydia and go to Featured. You want to find a, uh, a, I guess it would be an app called Mobile Terminal or maybe just Terminal. File Managers, Mobile Terminal install that it is free then you're gonna to want to install a source called insanely I I'm pretty sure that's how you say it uh, this source is frowned on by a lot of people because it basically it they he takes people's work like you know, all the paid uh, tweaks, themes, anything. He takes it, cracks it, and makes it free. So he's basically just stealing their work, making it for free. I don't, uh, I don't, uh, I'm trying to figure out how to word this. I'm not for piracy and shit like that. But I use it because I'm 16. I don't have a credit card. I don't have a job right now, so there's no way I can pay for any of this. So, yes, I do use it. Once I get a credit card and a job, it'll be gone because I'm all for supporting the devs and you know, I know some of the hard work that they have to do to produce these amazing themes. So, I'll show you that source right now. It's this one right here in San Lee I go to add repo dot dot com add source and then go over to search after you've added that and search clean up maybe not okay put a space in between it my bad clean up crap so you see install that there's a second package that is it removes language packs like uh, apps and some tweaks that you install will install a language pack to support obviously different languages that also kinda holds up or ties up your device and this is it lang 2 EZ install that It does take a little while. A very long while. By the way, this is a fresh jailbreak. I actually uh, restored my phone and set it up as a new phone. So basically wiped the entire phone and set it up like I had just gotten it and uh, did the fresh jailbreak. I installed a few default packages that I always have. I'm still doing some. I don't have all my usual ones on there. And the theme that I'm using is called iMate or iMat. I'm pretty sure it's iMate V5. Uh, it's free. All the there's millions of mods, um, different uh, 
different things that go along with it. And the same guy creates all these themes that are just absolutely amazing. It's probably the best themes on the uh, on the city store. I wouldn't doubt it at all. Um, I'm having a little problem theming my the the photos and the camera, as you can see, and the Pandora app because. I'm not real good with iFile, and there's this thing called uh, f black. I think it's black fabric. You can download. It's just a fabric set for um, our iMate. It's really easy to find. Just search iMate V5, and you'll find all the things that go with the color keyboard. Uh, the thing up here, like the Zeppelin. There's also an SP settings theme, but I don't have it installed. Uh, but that's why. Those icons right there aren't themed in this one. Okay, open up terminal, get back to this. And this is how you log in to your iPhone through terminal. Type login. Once you have that up, type root and then Alpine. A L P I N E. Return. Uh, if if you have never used it before, it's going to be Alpine, the password. But if you change your password, then I don't even need to explain that to you because you know how to do it. Okay. First, you want to type in CUC and hit return. It takes a few minutes. And uh, at the end of it, it's going to tell you how much it's cleared. Probably won't have too much on mine because uh, it's it's fresh. So I don't have... I have literally three apps on here and a few tweaks, so I really don't have much. And uh, it, uh, it actually, it's very visible, the effects of it, depending on how much stuff you have. It's not going to turn your uh, 3GS into an iPhone 4S, but it's still, it's very, you, you can see the effects, that's what I'm trying to say. 263 files removed, that's actually a lot okay now we're gonna do the language thing uh... there's some language packs that you can't remove and they'll no matter how many times you run it they're gonna come back and sometimes it'll say remove zero that just means you don't have any extras on there that you don't need so obviously it can, you can't remove what you don't have lang l-a-n-g two the letter two and then e-z return this takes a minute as well. Let's see, zero language packs. It's because I don't have barely anything installed. But uh, like I said, sometimes it will remove some. Like the most that I've seen removed is 142. Well, depending on what you have installed, I don't remember what I had installed, but I ran it twice in a row, and it said remove 39 language packs both times. Therefore, those 39 won't won't uh, be removed. And like I said, the biggest one was 142 that I've seen come out. And really, it's like 142 minus 39. Because I don't know really how that works. But that's all I can tell you. And that's how you use it. Have a good day.